please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We hope you enjoy the video. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orc Rose, where we bring to you everything nerdy, geeky, and just plain fun. My name is Thomas. And my name is Derek. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Now today we want to talk about a TV show. The Orville. Okay, so that's, all that's a thing. <laughs> um... So, real quick, for those of you who have not heard of the Orville, seriously, what rock have you been hiding under? Yeah. Um, the Orville is a new series created by Seth MacFarlane, uh, famous for Family Guy. If you don't know who Seth MacFarlane is, seriously, what rock where is you? that rock? <laughs> um, Seth MacFarlane is, of course, the creator of Family Guy, American Dad, and the Failure Cleveland Show. Um, I forgot about one that. One of his many. Uh, yeah. So, to ease your mind just a little bit, The Orville is a TV series, not a movie, because we all know how Seth MacFarlane's movies end up. They kind of fall flat. Uh, unfortunately... Every time? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> the Orville is live action, like the movies. So, no, Ted was okay. Ted, oh, that's right. Ted was his. Yeah, okay. Ted, Ted was okay. Yeah. Um, all the other ones were... Yeah. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so live action and Seth MacFarlane don't usually get along, right? It doesn't seem yeah. like it. And even Ted had a animation with the main character. Oh, that's right. Ted. Um, okay, so this is basically a Star Trek show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, or... Uh, Pretty or much. What, what do they call it? Homage? No. Yeah, um, maybe. Well, you know, originally it looked like it was going to be a Star Trek parody. Yeah. Um, it's, it is. Kind of. But it's not. Actually, I'm not quite sure it knows what it wants to be. I don't, I don't think so. It's kind of like a parody that wants to take itself semi-seriously, but not seriously. And, you know, it's, it's really weird. And I have a theory on this. Okay. Um, because this was announced, uh, at a very similar time as Star Trek Discovery was announced, which right. has not come out yet, uh, but should be really soon, actually. Yeah, I think it's coming um, out. I, I don't, I don't know when right offhand, but yeah, yeah it should be soon. Yeah, coming out this year. Um, the two trailers came out almost on the same day, certainly the same week. Uh, both were kind of a big drop when they happened, um, which the interesting part of this is that originally, uh, Brandon Braga, who was executive producer on, or very heavily involved with, uh, The Next Generation, Voyager, Deep Space Nine, was involved with Discovery. Right. Uh, th in the middle of development, he left. Discovery. And, and yeah, Discovery and passes it on to someone else uh, to move on to doing the Orville, right? Which is essentially Star Trek. Uh, also worth mentioning, uh, John Favreau is one of the other executive producers, um, as well as a, a director for the show, right. along with I believe Brandon Braga um, and Jonathan Frakes. Yeah. Who played uh, Commander Riker on the Next Generation? Yeah, it sounds and, and directed a few episodes. Oh well, yeah, or uh, several. Actually, actually, I believe actually, he did one of the movies, yeah. if not more than one. Uh, yeah, no, I think uh, you're right. Yeah, he was right. he was very heavily involved in the production of those shows. Also, a pretty solid, pre pretty solid director. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, absolutely. He does, he does a good job. Um, so we're so it sounds good so far, right? Yeah, yeah, everything sounds right. awesome. Sounds good. Uh, then we saw the first episode. Yeah. Uh, he, ha he has more hope than I do. I, I do. I, yeah. I'm very hopeful for this show, and, and we will get to that in a moment, but yeah. your reactions. I, I, uh, I, I wanted to, I really wanted to like it. Mm -hmm. You know, I really did. I, the, the, 
uh, the the trailer that we saw a while back, you know, I I liked. I actually liked the trailer, you know, and I and I had really high hopes, which might have been my mistake. Uh, I may have had my hopes just a little too high, I, yeah. I guess. And yeah, I mean, it, to be fair, we've seen the first episode. The the uh, oh, we're doing a disclaimer. The next episode actually comes out very shortly and should be out by the time this airs. Uh, we haven't seen that yet, of course. So, um, it, I, it it was like you said earlier. It was like it didn't know what it wanted to be. You know, it was like I think if it had chosen something, and maybe mm -hmm. it will. You know, that's my hope that that it will kind of choose what it wants to be. Um, right now, it, I mean, it had some kind of funny moments. It had, I, you know, I chuckled a couple times, but literally that was it. I didn't really have a laugh. You know, like an out loud kind of, you know, laugh. It was just kind of a little chuckle. And for me, for a comedy, that's not enough. You know, if it's going to be right. funny, it should be funny. Right. Um, the serious bits in it were just not serious enough, I guess. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's like they tried to have a little drama and the drama wasn't there. They tried to have some action and it, some of it was okay. Um, yeah. You know, and then... Uh, I, I, for me, the biggest part in any show uh, typically is the writing, and for me, the writing just wasn't just wasn't there. You know, it wasn't. I, I mean, like I don't right now. I mean, it's the first episode, but I, I don't care about any of the characters. I just don't. You know, and it it felt to me like a lot of the actors were just kind of phoning in, uh, and you know, I mean, there there were some decent actors in it. It just, but it it felt very wooden, which I mean, it was partially of the fault of the dialogue. Um, but I, oh, I, I don't know. I mean, like I want, to, I, I still want to like it, and I'll probably watch the next episode. Uh, I don't know if I'll watch the third. You know, we'll, we'll just kind of see how it goes for me. Well, I, here's my thoughts. I, I think that we need to wait to pass final judgment on this until there's been a reaction to Star Trek Discovery. That's because fair. I think that whatever happens with Star Trek Discovery, how it's received will change the tone of this show because if it's received poorly i think the show is going to take a bit more of a serious turn huh. and become more of the star trek series that we wanted to see that would be interesting however if it's take if star trek discovery is received very well i think we might get more of the comedy side of the show i'd be okay with either you know, Me too. I mean, I really but, but one or the other. Yeah. Um, because there were a lot of great, uh, there was a lot of great direction in the show. Yeah. I felt as far as uh, the actual yeah. cinematography, um, in the sense that it felt like Star Trek. The <laughs> it, it did it a really, lot of it felt it like really, Star Trek. Really did. The design of the ship, of course, was yeah. very, very reminiscent of Star Trek, other than the warp nacelles. Yeah. Um, but the actual, the design of the bridge, the design of the hallways, uh, even the window in the top of the ship over the bridge, that's all straight Star Trek. I um, still can't believe I never noticed that. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm a little seen, ashamed of I've it. seen Next Gen, like, I mean, like, the, the entire series I've seen several times. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I turn it on every once in a while just to watch it because I really like it. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I never saw it. I absolutely never saw it. Uh, but, yeah, all of that is very Star Trek. The shots themselves were a lot of them very yeah. Star Trek. The way that they shot... Uh, the characters when they would fall, whether because they oh, yeah. had been hit or whatever, uh, the way they hit the ground, all of it was very Star Trek. The cuts to commercial were very Star Trek, uh, down to the very last scene. And the way they wrapped it up, the feeling they wrapped it up with was very Next Generation yeah. Star Trek. Yeah, no, that's true. That that, that 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 actually is true. Yeah, and and I I, th I think that's a lot of what they're going for, and and I have a lot of hope because I don't think they've decided what they want it to be because it can go either direction, and they want to do something that Star Trek fans will appreciate while getting the name out there with the release of Star Trek Discovery. Yeah, I'm. I, like I said, I'm hopeful. I'm not holding my breath. You know, I mean, and I, that's I've, also <laughs> fair. Uh, a lot of the acting in it was sadly subpar. 
Yeah, uh, I mean, like, I mean, we we were talking earlier uh, mm-hmm. about you know Star Trek Next Gen, and you know the first episode is just. I mean, some people like it, and and that's fine. I I mean, I don't mind it. I think the first episode is okay, but uh, I mean, it's not the best. You know, it's no. it's, it's the the writing was just just not the best. Um, but they had a lot of really good actors that the just kind of, they kind of carried the, uh, the writing, you know, I mean, they, they did, you mm-hmm. had, uh, you know, Patrick Stewart, who is amazing. Um, and, and he did, even from the first episode, he did a phenomenal job. Uh, Data began to establish his character very, very well. And, mm-hmm. and I thought his, his, uh, uh, thank you, Brent Spiner. Uh, uh, but I, you know, like when he and Jonathan Frakes meet for the first time, um, yeah, the, it it's 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 a good meeting. You know, mm. it really, really is. It is, and it is, it begins to establish those characters very well. Um, I, I, that's the other thing. I don't like they tried to establish the characters here, but I didn't feel like they were. You know, they weren't. And it was an hour pilot. Yeah, uh, I don't know how much establishment you can really do within one hour. Uh, of a new show now granted how, yes how next generation was... uh, i believe the next generation pilot was uh hour and a half or two hours was it really mm. god i don't know uh, i i could be wrong uh someone will like surely correct minutes. me no, because it's about star trek yeah. um I don't it, it certainly wasn't 30 minutes yeah. I, i'm no, no, wanting no, to no. say it might have been more than an hour though because of being okay a pilot. yeah i don't remember um but th- this was an hour-long pilot uh the to me, the characters were introduced enough to be okay. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, I, I know nothing else, and right. and I, I don't feel attached no. yet. Um, the the most interesting and original character in it for me was, and I do not remember the character or the actress's name, but the first officer, uh, Seth MacFarlane's ex-wife. Oh, yeah, wow. no. Um, like I said, I don't care that that much oh, I, man. To, to know. Yeah. Um, it, it didn't stick out to me. I should point out that uh, we literally just watched this. It's been like five, ten fair. minutes and we have no idea. No, no. Um, the oh, man. Uh, Bordas, I remember his name Bordas because was he good. stuck out to me. Yeah, Bordas was actually pretty good. He, uh, he did very well. Yeah. Um, his character was interesting. Yeah. The way he interacted with the other characters was interesting. Um, whoever the guy was that was piloting the ship, he was clearly there for humor, not that interesting. The yeah. navigational officer, clearly there for humor. Not that interesting. Also, um, not that funny. I mean, like either one. They, they had some funny moments. They did. Yeah, but, yeah, that, but it wasn't funny. Funny, you know. And I, I don't. Again, if you're going to have someone in there for humor, then then then, then make them in there for humor. Speaking uh, of the uh, humor in this show, the first episode of it, the most funny line in the entire episode yeah. for me. Was when they they send over the weapon to the enemy ship and destroy the ship. And Seth MacFarlane says that one line, Happy Labor Day. Arbor. Arbor. Wow. Arbor. Mm, I did that. Good job, Uh, Happy Arbor Day. I thought that was hilarious. It was clever. It was witty. It was timed well. And they just... Discounted it. It was just like that. That was stupid. Yeah. Oh, then, what would you have said? I would have said, "Hey, yeah, you, I would." And I mean, uh, and it was such a letdown. Like the, you're, you're right. That line was uh, it, the line was perfect. And actually, the you know, uh, you know, I might get flamed for this, but I'm not a huge Seth MacFarlane fan. I, I, I like. Yeah, I actually like Family Guy. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't as big on American Dad, but it's okay. And uh, but you know, the stuff I've seen him in, I. I uh, he's okay. Yeah, you know, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan. Phenomenal singer. Is he really? Oh, oh gosh, yeah. Oh, I actually didn't know that. Uh, but have the, you not seen any of the road episodes of Family Guy, no. where Stewie and Brian sing like the entire time? Oh no! And they're that, both him. Now that you mention, I have heard him sing. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. no, he's yeah. he's amazing. Um, but but that said, I mean, like his delivery of that particular line was perfect. perfect. You know, perfect. it was one hundred percent perfect, and and then they and then they downplay it, and I'm like, no, it was funny and it was clever and it was it was a genuinely good line, and then uh, and and then the best they come up with is you got wood, yeah, yeah, and really. I'm like, oh wow, okay. 
And, All right, this is this. See, and for me, for me personally, mm-hmm. that summed up the show. You know, yes. And, and I was like, oh, that was oh, wait, well, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's it like summed up the show very down, well, you know? but it also summed up what I I'm afraid most people are expecting from the show, huh? because a lot of the people who watch. Well, not a lot of people who watch, but the type of audience that Family Guy, American Dad, Cleveland Show, uh, was geared for are people who would laugh far more at the You Got Wood line than Arbor Day. Really? Um, Uh, It's the cheap laughs. Uh, Half of what Peter does on Family Guy is cheap laughs. Yeah, but you know, I mean, but like I said, I like Family Guy. I do too. I think it's hysterical. It is a funny dang show and it's but it's the presentation like when they when they went to, maybe you could make the you got woodline funny. I don't know. Maybe it's possible. But it just wasn't. Like it, the delivery was, was stale and then the uh, and then the other people reacting to it, their reaction yeah. was stale and it was it just turned out not, not It, it was like one of those um, you know, you had to be there jokes. Yeah. It, the the, the timing of it was all wrong whereas the original joke was perfect yeah um, and mind you when when it's a you had to be there thing it's not you had to be there watching you actually had to be on the ship apparently for it to be funny because they found it funny I, you know I, it didn't sound like they found it that funny it sounded no, like they sound, were uh, scripted to find it, it sound, funny yeah, it's fair it sounded um, like canned laughter that, that's honestly my biggest complaint about yeah. the whole show we got this golden moment and it didn't matter. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Orville, I'm going to watch out for it. I have hopes. You don't. I'll, I'll still watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to give it... Yeah, and maybe just one extra episode isn't fair. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I'll, I'll give it uh, I'll give it a few. We'll see what... We'll see if they decide. You know, if they decide what it is and, and, and pick a route, then uh, I don't know. I mean, it could be good. You know, it, it, it might take to the second season for it to figure itself out oh, if God. it gets a second season. But honestly, I believe that about three weeks after Discovery releases is when we'll know where the show is going. Now, I, I really believe that. Now, I could be entirely wrong, but like what having watched that, I, I'm, I'm not seeing a second season. I, I, I'm just not. Not unless I, something changes. No. No. Uh, if, if, or or if, the show just yeah, takes... It, a complete upturn. Yeah, if that's um, the show, then I, I'm not seeing a second no. season. I could be wrong. I mean, audiences could completely disagree with me and be like, it's the funniest thing ever. From what I've read so uh, far uh, from everyone else, no, nah, everyone agrees with us. Okay. Uh, they can't figure out what they want to be. The acting is stale. The writing is stale. The direction is very reminiscent of Star Trek. Mm-hmm. And that's about all it's got going for it. So... Yeah. So, uh, so far, Orville, I mean, you could go ahead and watch it. You know, decide for yourselves. I, I won't say don't bother. I mean, decide no. for yourselves. Watch it. And, and I mean, it's it's not unentertaining. You know, I mean, is mm-hmm. unentertaining even a word? It is now. Um, you know, it's it's not horrible. I mean, I, I, I like you won't. Okay, some of you might be like, "Get me my hour back." I, I wasn't that bad. No, you know? no, no. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it for what it was worth. Yeah. Which, granted, wasn't much, but. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, I'm hopeful, but we'll just have to see. Yeah, we're uh, really optimist. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you agree or disagree with us, please leave it in the comments. And as always, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done it. We do this sort of thing all the time. We've got more videos coming up, some product reviews, so be looking out for that. And as always, you can find more on us at Orc Rogues. Com. We will see you there, and as always, until next time, we are Orc Rogues. Next episode should have already aired. Uh, there might be an additional review on top of this one, uh, in which case, and regardless, this will be covered up so I can get hair. Out of my oh my gosh, that was annoying. I got beard hair in my mouth. Oh, oh my god, that's why I was sitting here going because I thought it was attached, so it wasn't.